I've got a baselet stirrer here and a little black light. Let's move this glowing goodness over here. Now we'll plug both of these guys in. And I hope this is lined up so all you guys can see this well. You know, I said I have this group of kids that goes around and does science shows and we go out to eat a lot. Maybe it's just eating club, I'm not sure. <laughs> and one of the kids in the Faraday Society, just like a lot of the things that you've seen today, they get uh, very into, let's try this, let's try that. And a few years ago I had a kid that is finishing another one, her PhD, this time at Berkeley. And she said, I found the perfect demo. I said, OK, fine, being all like smug. No, you didn't find the perfect demo that I don't know about. Turns out the kid might have. And said, no, really, really, it's an oscillating reaction. Yeah? Yeah, it's really cool. Can I try it? Yeah. Then I see the equipment list and chemical list for it, and I'm like, oh my god. OK, so we'll do it anyway. So here's what it looked like once Amy got it mixed up. Solution A, I cannot do this reaction justice in this short of time. I'll show you why. It's an A and B clock reaction. If you know me, you know that my least favorite element is bromine. It has attacked me a couple of times due to my own stupidity. Ended up in my mouth one time at 16, which was really stupid. Do we have some oscillating going on? Well, yep. Mm, that's why. Do we have any color changes at all? Okay, let's take the lights down. Okay, so this reaction's got two things going on. One reaction is making, there's a process A and a process B. One of them is making elemental bromine, and you've got a series of reactions going back and forth. When you make enough elemental bromine, a secondary reaction kicks in, and you've got a tris a cerium ammonium nitrate ruthenium bipyridine compound, known as usually as tris rubipi in there. And after reaction A gets going long enough, you end up having the bromine being consumed by the ruthenium compound. And when it reduces, you'll see the cerium ruthenium compound go from being orange to green, and in about a minute and a half after you mix them, you get an oscillation that not only will go orange to green, but it should begin to glow, fluoresce and not fluoresce. And the fluorescence should go from blue to orange. Well, that, well, I let that mix. I'm going to step over here. Looks good on the screen. I'm not seeing it glowing. Could 
Can we get the lights down a little further? It takes just a minute, so you've got to be patient. You've got to not get all worked up that you didn't measure right. No, my God. Okay, now just watch it just a minute. Here comes process A. Okay, now we're waiting for the bromine to build back up again. And if you get enough of the bromine in there, then the cerium ruthenium compound comes into play and it'll glow again. I call it the liquid lightning bug. Now in terms of getting mileage, look at that. You gotta be patient. Don't freak out that it didn't work and start dumping more in. Oh my God, more. No, just stay calm. You measured it the right the first time. You're like, well, I wonder how long that'll go on. Two to three hours is the answer. Two to three hours. The kid that forced me to let her get all the stuff to do this demo, I really did. I, I was like, no, you know, it'll be cool, but maybe not that cool. Yeah, it's that cool. And I used to have a real problem getting the ruthenium. I had to buy it from Sigma and it was real expensive and all that sort of thing. And uh, Irene Sessa at Flynn decided a few years ago, because it was real expensive for a very small amount. And she thought, you know, I think, I think we could mix that up. So you can actually buy this guy ready to go as a Flynn kit. <laughs> How cool is that? It's my favorite Flynn kit. Last weekend I was at school and I set it all up just to um, make sure that everything was working right. You know how it is working at school on a weekend? Yeah, well, I, anytime I was having a bad day, I just went in there. Having a bad day. Left it going in Amy's room next door. Isn't that awesome? The liquid lightning bug. Yay!